Hello and happy finally Friday from Radically Rational and RadicallyRational.com. It's not often that I get a chance to wear this shirt proudly these days, but I am today. More on that in just a moment as we discuss the draft. But first of all, the headline to me, finally, Lamar Jackson and the Ravens got it done. So either somebody talks some sense into Lamar or he finally talks some sense into himself, but this is a good thing. It's a good thing for Lamar Jackson to be the quarterback of the Baltimore Ravens because that's where he is the best fit, and I'm glad they finally got it done. Now to the draft. As predicted by pretty much everybody, Bryce Young goes number one to Carolina. Here's the thing. If you don't like Bryce Young, there's something wrong with you. What a great young man and what a talent. I will tell you, though, that I still have real reservations about that slight build being able to take that kind of pounding. But my heart is with him, and I wish him all the best. Now, the Texans, how about this? They get the number two and the number three overall selections. Will Anderson, the edge rusher from Alabama, in my estimation, is about as can't miss a player as there is in that entire draft. And what's not to like about C.J. Stroud? Seriously, he checks all the boxes. He could be the answer there, and he's going to have some time to get brought along slowly by Case Keenum. A really nice job by your Houston Texans. I like it. Now, it was not sexy, but it was absolutely the right move. What are you talking about, Coach? I'm talking about the Cowboys. That team's one glaring weakness is an inability to stop the run and now enter former Michigan run plugger Mozzie Smith. That's going to go a long way toward fixing that problem. Thumbs up on that one. But now the Cowboys and everybody else in the NFC East have another problem or a pair of problems. Hokey smokes, Bullwinkle. The Eagles get both of those Georgia Bulldog defensive studs, defensive tackle Jalen Carter, and Uber OLB Nolan Smith. Man, that ought to be illegal. Bijan to the Falcons. Perfect. Perfect. I think that Falcon head coach Arthur Smith is the perfect guy to know how to utilize that unique talent. That is a really good fit in my estimation. And kudos to the Colts. No guts, no glory. Throw deep. Hell yes, I'd have done it in a heartbeat. Anthony Richardson is the freakiest athlete to ever play quarterback. And yeah, he could be a bust in some areas. He also could be getting fitted for a gold jacket as a Hall of Fame quarterback 15 years from now. I'd have done that and I would not have looked back. And here's the thing, he can't really be a complete bust. What are you saying, coach? If necessary, he'd be an all pro tight end day after tomorrow. Hmm. Now, this Will Levis thing, that's weird. It was only two days ago that he was the betting favorite to be the overall number two selection. And instead, he falls entirely out of the first round. Hmm. What's the issue? The only thing I can think of is, as we say in journalism, accuracy, accuracy, accuracy. Because that's sure a big old arm. Let's see what happens tonight in rounds two and, if necessary, three. So, happy Friday to you. Don't just battle your flowers. Win. We are radically rational.